I'm back. I'm back. I've missed you guys. It's nice to be back. You guys have been sending me the nicest messages that you've missed me, that you've missed the videos, and it's been really nice. It's also been funny because so many of y'all are like, hope you're getting nice rest and you deserve it. And I was not resting. I was working my high knee off. I am exhausted. And I want to tell you why. There's been so much going on and I want to catch y'all up on it. I've decided to take on the two largest projects of my career in these two weeks. More on that in a few minutes. First, I want to tell you about a couple things that have been going on that I haven't been here to tell you about that I think you'll want to know. If you've not followed me over on Instagram, then you probably don't know about this yet. But first off, I have a new podcast interview out, the Sneaky Art Podcast. I'm going to have links below. It was a part one and part two. It was a very long interview. Nishant does long interviews, but I won the award for the longest. It was really long. I think it was like four hours. So I broke it up into two parts. Uh, but I've been hearing from you guys and it has been so encouraging. Y'all have really been liking it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your kind comments and all of that because, yeah, because. I also feel like I did a good job of pretty kind of completing sentences in podcast interviews. I don't always do that. I don't know if y'all will agree, but. Another thing I was part of that launched while I've been gone was Laura Horn has a year long program. I don't know if you can still purchase it for the whole year, but I do know she has now launched each month. As it rolls out, you can purchase it. I was her guest on her first month. It was a real, real honor and she just, was so kind about the things that she said. I even got like a little choked up watching it. But we do a long interview the whole month. She sent me the month program. It is so good. It is so inspiring. It was one of those that I'd watch and think, okay, I got to pause this and go paint because I just got really excited about going to paint. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. I mean, the whole year program is going to be excellente. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link below for that also. And I'm feeling just, I don't know, a little bit proud of myself. I just finished my first ever online workshop. I was a little surprised at myself for even saying yes to it, but I did in a lapse. I don't know, something where I thought maybe it wouldn't be as hard as it was. It was a lot of work. I poured my heart and soul into it. Ton of work, months and months of work, but it went so well. The first day we did have some technical issues, which absolutely stressed the living life out of me. It zapped me for like a whole week. I was just so like, but we we're able to fix part of it. And anyways, it went well. Um, I heard from so many of you. It was so fun too, to be able to put like faces with so many of you. So many of you that have been following me for a while, leaving comments and I've connected with in a way, but then to be able to put faces to it just felt really, really, really wonderful. But I've got that completed. I think I have some footage here of some of the days. I think I only, yeah, I don't know how much footage I have, but I'm gonna put that here so you can see a little peek of the setup. And then I think Grady came in and sneakily took some footage too, like during one of the, maybe the first day. Thought I would show you the state of the studio at the moment. I have been doing tons and tons of just practices and playing with, all kinds of stuff, getting my exercises ready for the workshop. Oh boy, and, oh, look who's coming. Come on, birthday boy. Coopy, come here. Coop, come here. Come here, birthday boy. Come here and say hi to the people. Tell them how old you are. Oh no, don't, but don't step on all the stuff. Okay, sit down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, can you lay down? Oh, you want to sit up and give kisses? Oh, no, you do want to lay down. Okay. Should we insert the clip that we did this morning with your birthday hat? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll let the people see how cute you were. Guess whose birthday it is today? <laughs> is it your birthday?
birthday. Oh, is that tail going? Yeah, it's his birthday. Is it time? Is I'm the birthday boy? Huh? Is that big 12 years old? I'm going to have treats today and sleep a lot. And Mom's going to take me for a nice long walk for my birthday. Yep. Happy birthday, boy. Okay, look what I just found. Sometimes he likes to grab things and just sit there. Goofy. <laughs> Do you want your hat back on? Are you being silly? Are you being silly? You going to eat your birthday hat? Oh, no. You just want it? Oh. He likes to just hold things until we notice and laugh. Like he'll get my handkerchief or I don't know, just different things. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh. Okay, no, 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 drop. Drop. <laughs> drop. Okay. Oh, bud. Did that get your mouth? Oh, boy. All right. Happy boy. Happy birthday, boy. Yeah, love him. So I would have worn that hat all day, Mom. And pooped out. Having a birthday at 12 is exhausting. <laughs> okay, just please don't step on all my stuff, all right? But everybody's telling you happy birthday. Everybody loves you. So I love them. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. I really appreciate all the birthday wishes. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to go take a nap now. <laughs> oh, you're rubbing your chin? Huh? Is it so itchy? Here, you want me to scratch it for you? Huh? Let me scratch it. Oh, goodness. Here, come here. No, let's not lick the private parts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Debbie's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the good spot? Yes. Okay, let me finish telling the people what I was telling them because I don't even remember now. So basically, I've been working on the workshop and I've been doing 50 million sketches. I'm preparing and just kind of get my thoughts together on exercises and things like that which has been really fun to do and I feel prepared now. Coop are you prepared? I'm prepared mom. And now I'm going to move the desk. I think I want to move this closer to here because it's gonna be early in the morning and I want the light to be good. And then I'm going to just surround myself with tables so I can have all my stuff. Because I'm going to have a lot of stuff. I'm going to have a lot of supplies. I've been playing with everything to see what I want to use and what I want to encourage other people to use. So I basically want to have everything at my, you know, hands where I can get my hands on everything. But I do feel like I need to straighten things up, tidy things up, and maybe put some of my paintings up there so there's like some funness behind me because I'm gonna have the camera kind of like this. Yeah, I think I need a little splash of color possibly. And that's the update. I'll sit down here with the birthday boy. Uh, that's basically the only update I have. I'm not feeling nervous yet. I know tomorrow morning I'll probably feel frantic and also because Grady's not feeling very good. He's been having some tooth issues and he went in a few weeks ago, they did some stuff, and then something has just flared up. And this morning, he went, he didn't get, he wouldn't get out of bed. He was not feeling good. He didn't sleep all last night. And his face is all swollen up. So thankfully, the dentist could get him in. I feel like I probably look like a mess. Oh, well. Uh, the dentist was able to get him in, like, pronto. But I think tomorrow's going to feel a little hectic because I don't know how much he's going to be able to help me or help with the dog, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row now. Oh, okay. So he was telling me the other day, he was like, yeah, my tooth's hurting again. He was like, I may have chomped down too hard on grape nuts. He got some grape nuts. Is that how you say it? Grape nuts cereal recently, which I was like, what? He was like, yeah, I think he was tying it back to childhood or something, which I'm like, I don't think you ate that in childhood because who eats grape nuts in childhood? But anyways, he was telling me all about it thinks he chomped down too hard and stuff. And I was like, do you have a grape nuts injury? <laughs> and he just laughed. I was like, you need to tell the dentist that you have a grape nuts injury. <laughs> Should we sit down here together? Hmm. Let's sit down here and just have some love down. He needs a bath. Do you need a bath? Mm. You can give me kisses. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I need to get to work. I just thought I'd pick up the camera to document all of this. And let's hope it goes good tomorrow. I hope it does. I hope it does. I'm excited. Okay, I thought I would show you the situation. So I decided to move the desk from there up to here. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know why now. Because I was thinking the light being closer to the window, like early in the morning with light. I think tomorrow may be cloudy too, that that would be better. And that would be better than like setting up lights and all that. And then also I can like put stuff a little easier all the way around me. And <laughs> I've got like little mini tables everywhere with all the stuff because I wanted a bunch of different supplies out because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be in the mood for. And I'm going to be able to like just grab stuff. And then tomorrow I'll have like snacks and water and all that and then i'll have my computer here that will be pushed back and then this will be my working area and then i have this camera for my ipad facing this way and these are little dry medium stuff i've got my inks i've got watercolor here in my pan but then also in jars for some reason i thought maybe i would do that i've never done that before but that's what i decided to do then i have my gouache back there and i have a couple of water brushes let's put those right there and i have regular brushes here i have all the sketches that i've been doing like just as practice and that way i can pull something out if i need to show something as an example i've got my paper there big stack of just extra paper that i'll be working on over here i have my neo colors i have tons of water i'm going to have some other things to sip on and I had to clear out all back there so I could have like a little space to get to this. <laughs> and then I put a couple paintings back here for just, you know, nicety, prettiness back there. And I even just stuck one painting. I moved that. It was over here and I moved it. Just have a little splash of color in the corner. And one painting that I've finished. No, two paintings that I've finished. One that's in the works. And then I have a nice big area that Cooper can roll around and be noisy. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I'll have my water bucket poopsers. I gotta remember this. Hmm, that's gotta go someplace. Okay, but maybe I should just leave that there until I'm ready for it. Oh, I was gonna bring these over too. Hmm. Okay, I also have a little clock right there so I can see it from right here because I have like a schedule, time schedule thing. Like, we've got to stay on track. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And there's that. Feels like a workshop area, doesn't it? So I'm excited. Okay, thought I'd just mention that. Tomorrow I'll have to put all this back in order. Oh, and then I have a ton of stuff that was all shoved all back there that's all in the den now stacked up on a table. So tomorrow will be like mission, get the studio back in order, but maybe a little tidier too. Okay, I'm all set up here. I feel pretty ready. I've got about... Um, 40, yeah, maybe 40 minutes before it starts. Of course, we have the studio dog who thinks he's staying for this workshop, but he's not. There we are. All righty. So I feel quite excited. I feel like I get the most nervous the little bit before, the waiting time before. In fact, I need to keep drinking water to keep the whistle wet. need to wear my voice out so I'm not going to talk too much to you guys but I decided to wear my flower dress flowers for it flowers because today we're doing flowers tackling flowers today all right I hope it goes well I'm just really hoping that we don't have any technical issues and the sun is coming out Ooh, I'm so glad because it was really dark in here I put all the lamps like around me but Thank you, son, for coming out. Ooh, I'm so glad. Okay, so hopefully it's going to go good. I think it's going to be fun. I'll only be nervous like the first 30 minutes before it starts, like before things start. I get kind of, because I just sit around waiting. I don't feel like I can like do something because I'm afraid I'll forget or like lose track of time. I did do a little bit of drawing to kind of warm up, but that didn't go very well because I was yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I'm just ready to jump into it. So anyways, thought I would bring you guys along a little bit for those that couldn't be at the workshop. <sighs> okay, I better go. I can already tell I'm getting a little <clears throat> hoarse, so I need to stop talking, but there it is.
I decided we're going to do a 10 minute, 10 minute one. And I wanted to give you an option. Okay, this one is going to be not upside down. It's going to be normal. I'm going to just let you guys have at it. Like, it's like my painting's already started before I even get started. So. Good afternoon. What time is it? 2.08. I've had lunch and kind of a nap. I laid down and kind of rested, but mainly watched a uh, video. And I'm exhausted. The workshop is done. It felt like it flew by. I mean, in some ways it, we went over like, did we go over a whole hour? I don't know. It was quite an overage. We had a little bit of some technical issues, which was a little bit of a bummer. I pre-recorded one of my demos just so I could edit it well, show all the different shots. And we had some technical issues. So that was a little bit, a little bit of a bummer. I'm trying to not let it bother me I'm saying, Hey, people are used to technical issues. And then Everything that was recorded when it goes out and people that didn't get to show up live on the Zoom and those that were there for live Zoom will get all of it without any glitches. So that's good. But I worked really hard on all that footage, so that was a little bit of a bummer. Um, but after that, everything went great. I feel like I did not do great demo or like exercise paintings but everybody else like did amazing. I mean, I could not believe how well everybody did. I mean, I was just like, y'all need to be teaching the class, not me. Seriously, I was really inspired. If I wasn't so tired, I would probably paint because I was so inspired by it. just some of the creative things that people did. Uh, I feel extremely brain dead. Yeah, I feel like um, the adrenaline low and I felt very scatterbrained to do it t during it too. Trying to talk and paint. I'm not very good at doing two things at once. Talking and doing anything I'm not good at. But people said I did pretty good, so I don't know. I didn't feel like it. I felt very scatterbrained. But I need to clean up. I have art supplies that I need to film. I need to film because I need to get them put away and I want to be able to use them. So I think what I'm going to do is clear all this off. I mean, the whole studio, I mean, it's just stuff everywhere. So I think I'm going to clean up and I'm keeping an eye on Instagram because people are posting their stuff and man alive, is it good? I was going to take photos and videos of my stuff, but I'm getting blown up. So I think I'm going to wait, but my stuff doesn't compare to their stuff. It's so good. So I'm enjoying that. And I'm just trying to think, well, I'm looking down at these 15 million water bottles that I filled. I did not even drink a whole glass and I've got enough for the next week right here in the studio. I think that's funny that I thought I was going to drink that much water. That's interesting. I mean, anyways, I didn't even drink a full glass. <sighs> Why did I just report that to y'all? I have no idea. Y'all don't care. You're like, we don't care how much you drank during the workshop. Okay. Did I mention this? I cannot remember if I mentioned this, but like just a few minutes before the workshop started, Finn, our orange cat, brought in a bird and let it go. Yeah, then I was also having medical device issues. I was just like, oh no. But Finn brought in a branch, a big piece of wood, and a bird all in, in one mouthful. And Grady did a really good job of taking care of that really quickly though. So it wasn't too much of a craziness, but I was cracking up when I saw him run in. I didn't even see his mouth. I just saw his, his posture and I could tell you've brought something in. Thankfully it was not a snake. His go-tos are birds, snakes, and sometimes mice or chipmunks. No, have we had a chipmunk in the house? I don't know. Anyways, y'all don't care about that either. I'm so bright. Okay. Everybody seemed to have a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad day one is over the nerves of that and figuring out what I can do well, what I can't do well. Um, yeah, I was very planned out. Like I had a very, well, I ended up painting over my notes. I needed an extra piece of paper for notes and then I ended up demoing something. We ran out of time. I didn't have Q and A time and our show, yeah, anyways. Uh, what was I going to say about this? Yeah, I had everything down. Like, I had a nice timeline. But the 
technical stuff and then people showing their work took longer than normal. So anyways, what was I gonna say about all that? I don't know. Keeping time felt a little overwhelming, maybe. I don't know what I was gonna say. I have no idea. I am a rambling. I'm a rambler. I need to drink this coffee and go clean up, gather my thoughts. Okay, that art haul, when I show it, if it's just like, if y'all are like, she is not making any sense, you'll know why. It's because I filmed it after this. <sighs> Should I show you? Oh, maybe I'll film my sketches for you guys. If I remember, I'll show y'all what I did. I've got a lot of sketches. Okay, I gotta go. Y'all are like, please go <laughs> and regroup when you've got a brain, when you've gathered yourself. <laughs> the water. I'm going to just set it here and take it to the kitchen later. Okay, I had to pick up the camera because we had some um, computer issues with the workshop last week. So we were, were trying to bring all the like basically, what is this stuff called? We don't even know what it's called, but we don't even know what we were doing. Router, router server. Router server stuff. We unplugged it. Okay, but let me show you this because Grady came in here. He goes, I don't know why we have a phone plugged up to this, but we have like an ancient phone <laughs> plugged up to this thing. Some of your people have never seen a phone like that. Right? And I'm like, I don't know either, but this only thing I come up with was maybe. Our security system. Oh, our security system. You're right. Maybe it's that. I thought maybe it was because I thought. What if I'm in the closet and call 911? <laughs> you know what? If I did ever get like abducted or not abducted, but somebody was breaking in, if I was hiding in there, I'd have my phone I could call. But anyways, I wonder if it even works. I got so cracked up because Grady goes, I don't know why we have a phone plugged up into this. Kind of like maybe it was me. But anyways, here's Grady down there working hard. Thanks, babe. We're yeah, ma'am. We're hoping this is going to work. Okay, there's my ancient phone. Maybe we should try to call somebody on this. <laughs> Do you know anybody's phone number? Okay, I'm gonna let Grady work. I'll let you know if that works. So that was fun. I am exhausted after that. Absolutely exhausted. I think I just put so much into it. It was a lot of work, but then I also just like show up in a big way. And then as I said earlier, for some reason, I decided to take on two massive projects at the same time. For some reason, I thought I could do that. I could take two weeks off of YouTube and get all of it done. I did get the workshop done. Good job, Sandy. Good job. And I almost got the second project done. So uh, this is the first time I've really been talking about it. Or not really. This is the first time I've talked about it. And I want to tell you a little bit about what Grady and I have been working on. Scheming behind the scenes for plans for this year. And really just for the future. We are going to start. And I say we because Grady's working on things behind the scenes. We are going to start offering and putting out there on my website classes, like online classes for sale. So really put together videos that are long and exhaustive with whatever subject it is. We already know what this year's plan is. We're not going to be putting out many. There's just going to be like maybe two, maybe three a year. There's going to be a lot more information coming soon. But I've been filming for that, editing, doing all the stuff for the very first one. The first one that's going to be coming out soon is going to be on 
acrylics. And I'm going to give you a ton of information soon about it. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Keep your eye out here. And then I'll also have all the information once we get it all figured out on the website. But it's going to be on acrylics. Everything I know about acrylics, all the tips, all the tricks about all the different types of acrylic, acrylic gouache, inks, all of it. In fact, let me just look at my list here of all the things. Well, this isn't a comprehensive list. I just wrote down some things. I'm going to be sharing surfaces and how to prepare them, brushes, color mixing, like all my top tips for color mixing, which cross over to all other mediums too. Palettes, uh, paint pots. The video is going to be worth it just for the paint pot info mediums, varnishing, on and on and on and on and on. We're going to make this first video um, on the cheaper side also than what future videos will be uh, because I want this to be something that if you purchase a down the road video and you want to know more about all the acrylic stuff, you can get this one. So anyways, more on that later. I'll have a full like commercial video about it, but I am super excited. Uh, it was really fun having Grady watch through all the footage and he was like, this is good. I'm like, thank you. Uh, I worked really hard on it and I'm really excited about it. It's going to be the flavor of the YouTube videos, all the goofiness, da, da, but just packed with information. Okay. What else do I have to tell you about? Oh yeah. I was going to tell you. The second video we're going to do is the workshop that I just finished on still lifes, tackling issue areas in still lifes. I'm going to make a video for purchase for that because there were a lot of you guys that wanted to attend and it got filled up. I'm not going to be just taking like the Zoom footage. I'm going to make a whole brand new video. Um, so it's tailored more for a purchased class video and not an in-person thing. So that will be coming out, I think, secondly. And then end of the year or beginning of next year, we're going to have a landscape video where I, we take you guys out with me into nature, show you how I take my notes and then bring them back into the studio to make larger paintings. And then in the future future, our plans are once we get back to traveling, I would love to have like a video once or twice a year, depending on how many times we travel, like a travel video. So it'll be kind of like an entertainment video filled with info too. So basically taking you along from packing my supplies here onto a big trip, a big trip and how I sketch and take notes and then coming back to home to the studio and for months working from those and painting finished paintings. That's the plan. I think those will be really fun. It'll be kind of vlog like, but also information and elevated. We're trying to elevate them. I feel tired just <laughs> sharing all of that. I feel like this is kind of a catch up video. I should have told you early on, grab your tea or coffee and let's chat and catch up. So those are all the plans, the future exciting plans. We feel really excited about it. I feel like I'm at a place where I can put this kind of thing together and offer it for you guys. I know y'all have been asking for a long, long, long time. And I'm finally doing it and feel ready. And feel like I had some like subjects, some things that would be like, okay, I could do a whole, you know, video on that for a couple hours or something like that. So, okay, I've rambled enough. Sorry about that. How long have I been filming? Uh, I don't know. Too long. Anyways, okay, I got a couple really nice, fun gifts in that I thought I would share with you guys. Some art supplies. <laughs> they were so fun. I'm really enjoying them. I can't wait to share, share them to you. You guys sometimes just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be fun. Let's stop the yapping and get into fun art supply gifts. Why am I doing this? I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for listening listening to me jabber and jabber about all the future plans. Hope you're excited. We're excited. Why do I always feel like I have to sing when I'm, I'm it's like when I start singing when I reach for the turn the record button off and I start singing.
Okay, I just got a package. Grady went and picked it up for me. I've got crazy busy week, and he did that because he knew this would be really fun for me. This is from Helena. I don't remember Helena. I had telling me she was going to send me a package. That name doesn't sound familiar, but we'll we'll save this. Let's, oh, let's just open it. Okay, I already see something that Grady's going to like. Ooh, there's two big things in here. It's a big package, too. Okay, are you ready, babe? It's Johnny. Johnny boy. Ah, that's really good. Oh, and she signed it. She painted this. Hi, dear Sandy. I had seen in one of your older videos that you collected boxes. I'm going to have a box. So when I saw this in an antique mall, yes, antique, isn't that the best? I thought of you. I love it. all that racket is. Y'all know this by now. Do I even have to announce that anymore that any racket is Cooper? Uh, we've been like doing professional filming in here and he and the animals have been. Uh, okay. That's why Granny wouldn't pick this up for me because I'm in like uh, mode. Okay. Let's get back to the fun stuff. Stop reminiscing on all the bad stuff from this morning. Um, I think it looks like you on the box sitting and sketching. What? Also saw these paints and loved how they were packaged. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She didn't say that, I'm saying that. Thought you could have fun with them. I will have fun, I already know. Thank you for your lovely videos and your kindness and encouragement. You are a treasure. Thank you. Love Helen. P.S. Pronounced like Helen with, with an A or something. <laughs> Helena. Helen, Helena, <laughs> anyways, get out of my face. Great name, I'm sorry, I'm not saying it correctly, and this is so cute. Johnny boy, it would be perfect if he would enter now. Of course, not, of course they're not gonna enter now when we need them to. Okay, which, which should I open first? Okay, we'll just open, I picked this up first, so let's, is this the box? I, don't know. I like to try to guess. Oh, oh it's gonna be packaged like, okay. Sorry, I'm getting the knife out. Don't look if I scare you. Close your eyes, crazy. <laughs> but I'm very careful. Remember, I'm like a surgeon. Oh, that was a surgeon move right there. You should have seen that. You should have a close up of that. That was my close. Surgeon, surgeon like. Oh, and let's close that though because the surgeon can't cut themselves. So I think this is going to be the box. Okay, babe, are you ready? It's going to be me sitting and sketching. Don't look. Here we go. More surgeon this stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Koopy, I can't get into it. Keep trying, Mom. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Look at those colors. It does look like me. It really does. I just spit everywhere. Oh, my gosh. I, you have no idea how much I love boxes. It feels like there's something in there. Oh, there is something in there. But let me show you this first. Oh, wait, there's something's trying to come out. Look how cute. Doesn't that look like me? Oh my gosh. I love it. And I am out of boxes. I have not been to an antique store for forever. And just the other day I was looking for a box for something. And I was like, how could I not have a box? <laughs> Oh, I love it. When I come home from my antique stores, <coughs> excuse me, when I come home from my antique stores or like, uh, what's the other thing I go to that's in Nashville, the big flea market? Anyway, that. Great, but like, you needed another box. I'm like, I did need another box. I was out. Okay, and then there's, this must have something to do with what she's going to, what is that? Coughing up a hairball. What are these things? There's a whole bunch of these in there. So I don't know. There's the inside. Very cute. I feel like Cooper's about to do something. Oh, I can't wait to find something fun to put in that. Cooper, could you make more racket? Could you make some more racket for us? The knife. Watch these moves. Whoa, <laughs> yikes, Cooper, go lay down. You're gonna get cut. Okay, now, 
Oh my gosh. Wait, guys, sorry. It's been all day. Oh my gosh. What? This, this is too much. I can already tell. Oh my gosh, these boxes are cute. What? Look how cute these boxes are. I think I'll be putting stuff in those too. I mean, this already has stuff in them, but let's open it up and see what it is. Not easy to fade, vibrant colors, less glue. What? Gouache. What does that mean, I wonder? And this says gouache also. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it and see, but these boxes are making me happy. This is feeling like Christmas. And I love when stuff's packaged in good box. Don't you, babe? <laughs> you just went. <laughs> Doesn't it make you happy? Like if your computer screen that you got, his honestly, computer box that you got, what if that was in a fun <laughs> stuff? Okay, let's open, let's look for the reveal. What? Oh, wait, what? Less glue. I, I, the less glue's throwing me. But look at this. What? Ooh. This is thank you. Oh, wow. This is going to be fun. I don't have anything like this. Oh, wozers. It's gouache in these tins. Man, I love stuff like this because this packaging, even once you use the paint, I can already think of so many things I'll be putting in that. Ah, oh, this is so fun. I wish I could pronounce her name right. Hel Helena? Helena? Thank you. I'm so sorry if I'm... Oh, look, at, there's more colors. This is too much. Whoa. Woo. Look at this bubblegum pink. Whoa, man, that takes me to my childhood. Look at that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, this is gonna be so fun. Ooh, apple green. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now that, I picked this color out one time for our walls for something. Do you remember that? <laughs> Can't remember what it was for, maybe our dining room. Okay, I could open all of these and woo, ooh and ah. This is a pretty color too. Just one more. Great army, <laughs> just did like an army. <gasps> ooh, that's like lickable. Wow, that's a good wall color also. Okay, this is gonna be super fun. Wow, I feel very spoiled. I mean, this was really, this is like what a Christmas gift would be. So thank you, this was so fun. And I love that this looks like me. And these colors, I'm gonna use this as like a color inspiration. I do kind of, I am wondering about these. So maybe you write me and tell me, I know these are like blenders, but I don't know like for pencils and stuff. I don't know. I don't feel like you said anything about that, but I can probably find something to do with them. And thank you for the cute card of Johnny. Grady will really appreciate that because that's his cat. That's what he says is his cat. He's over there shaking his head. He said, it's the best animal that's ever been around. What else do you say? <laughs> All the things. <sighs> that's really cute. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Man, that's fun. That just cheered up my day. I've been having a really bad week. <laughs> so... This was really, 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 really sweet and too much. It was too much, but I do thank you for it. Okay. I'm gonna get back to work and then when I'm feeling, when this one starts making noise, I'm trying to do all that, I'm gonna come over and color swatch these. I'm gonna refrain, I'm gonna have self-control right now and not color swatch. And babe, thank you for filming. We really appreciate it. We love when you film for us. Koopy, we don't love when you make all the noise. Actually, some people like, oh, he's, he's doing the horse. This is the horse. When he starts getting tired, oh, his tail's going, he just he goes like this. I'm going to reenact it. Is that it? Wait. Are you doing the horse? If you can get it, he's doing it. Are you doing the horse? Do a little bit horse. Oh, I can't do it. I'm getting camera shot. But that tail's going. Koopy, do the horse. They just give me a belly rough, Mom. Just give me a big belt rub. Who needs a big bath? I just got back from the P.O. box and I got a package in. I think this is from Corey, if I remember correctly. I didn't even need scissors. She 
she said I did not have this that she bought a few of these for herself and she wanted to send one created flip journal I don't know what this is, but it looks fancy. Let me see if I can open it up. Ooh, even the way this opens is interesting. Okay. Ooh. It looks fancy. Okay. So it's like this, and then you go like this. I feel like there's probably directions. Heavyweight, mixed media, cardstock, ideal for applications, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's open it together. Okay, this is part of the cover, I think. Let's take that off. Even though it's pretty. Okay, this looks fun. There's like a um, fun pocket there. I love pockets. I just love them. What I can do is put, you know, sometimes I put glassine or wax paper in between pages. That will be handy to have that there. Look how nice this looks. Whoa, this paper is thick and it's nice and it's cream. I love cream paper. Ooh, and it's laying flat. Holy smoke. Oh, man. I love this. This is going to be perfect for my landscape escape paintings. Ooh, doggy. Okay, let me get to the back page. I didn't know if there would be like another pocket, but there's not. Um, I think I'm going to paint this cover too. I don't know. I kind of, I do like it. Let me take this off. Kind of just plain like this because then like fingerprints and stuff get all over it. But I like how that does that. This is cool. This looks nice too. Wow, like expensive nice. I wonder how many pages. Oh, this is really nice. It's smooth paper. Look how flat it lays. And I love cream paper. I've already said that. Uh, how many pa pages is in this? I love this. I'm excited. You know how sometimes too you can just tell that you're going to like the paper? I can tell. I always feel like rushed when I'm trying to find the info to tell y'all. Okay, this is 12 by 8. Well, that's the cover size. 48 unlined pages. Thank you. And there's no note. Well, she sent it from Amazon, but I'm quite sure this was from Corey. I feel like this who sent it. Thank you. I love it. This makes me want to go outside right now. Like it feels fancy, but not where I'm going to be like precious about it, especially since I got it as a gift. I'm able to just be like, no, I need to use this, but I love this envelope in the front. And I'm going to put my if found page. Oh, look at that pop of yellow. I didn't even see that. Holy smoke. Yeah, this is going to be nice. And I can just lay it in my lap. That's going to be nice. This makes me excited to get out in the landscape. Okay, I'll probably be using this in my landscape video that I'm going to be making. We're working on videos to make and sell. And I'm going to be doing a landscape one. So this will be really special and fun to have. Okay, this is the kind of sketchbook, because I've never seen this or held it, that multiple times today and through this week, I will open this up and just come and like touch it <laughs> look at it <laughs> can't wait to go show grady i'm gonna go show him right now okay whoops my phone's beeping at me i just went and showed grady and i came in here i go i'm gonna go tell the people he goes tell them what that you're crazy so i went in there and showed him and he was like wow that's nice he kept saying wow that's cool he liked it too and then um he he was looking at the paper and he was like man this is a nice sketchbook i was like i know and he even went, whoa, over this. Um, and then he handed it back to me. I go, no, 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 do the thing. And he goes, <laughs> he looked around to see if the camera's going. I go, no, do it. And he goes, okay. <laughs> Anyways, that was fun. He really liked it too. He just kept going, wow, that's really nice. I'm going to keep this info. In fact, I'm going to put this 
in that, um, well, it says Ranger. I bet I can find it online because I have a feeling I'm going to be wanting to buy some more of these. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Sorry. But that was fun. Thought I'd show y'all, tell y'all about that because Gray, he really enjoyed the experience of it too. Here, let me just put the information back up here again in case I didn't do that. I feel like I didn't do that. There we go. Here's some information on the back. Let me hold that up for y'all too, just in case. Wow. Okay, thank you. Okay, I wanted to tell you a little about these paints because I've been using them and I've really, really, really been enjoying them. I didn't feel like the footage was really great. I wanted to take the lid off there so you could maybe see the consistency a little bit. I hope I remember to put the top back on. Didn't feel like the footage really showed these boxes very well. So let me show y'all these. Um, I thought they were just gouache because that's what it says, but they're definitely acrylic gouache. They don't reconstitute. So uh, there's that, but I really like them. And it's interesting because this company reached out to me to do, uh, they wanted to send me free supplies for me to try out. And I said no, because I didn't think they would be very good. They seem kind of more like hobby or I just wasn't real sure. I'm really, really, really picky about who I say yes to, but I'm very, very picky and I said no, but now I'm kind of wishing I had said yes. I can't remember what else they wanted to send me. So there's the paint. And then I wanted to show you a couple quick little sketches that I did using the paints. Uh, the colors are gorgeous and the vibrancy, um, I just, really love them. I love that they're in those little pots. This was one I did in the workshop um, for one of our exercises. And I think I used the paint a little thinner here. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous paint. And I will be reordering because I love it. And I also wanted to show you I've been using the sketchbook. I thought that maybe I would try to wait until, here, sorry, I'm on the stool. Um, I thought I would wait until I went out for landscapes, but I couldn't contain myself and I needed to try. So um, I wanted to first try inks to see how they would do in this. And these are two that I, I started. I put the first layer down and needed it to dry before I started more. And then I was too tired for my workshop. Um, so I did some sketches, which I'll show that to show you that too. But I put this ink on thick and look at that guys, zero. I mean, zero bleeding through, zero. That is a Christmas miracle. So I need to get back to these. I hope I don't forget about these. I need to get back to those. And then I've also been using color pencil and I love it. It's smooth. It's just really, really nice to work on. So I've been doing some color pencil stuff since I've been tired and just kind of sitting. Um, and I hope I don't fill this thing up before I actually get out to do some landscapes. I mean, I guess that'll be fine if I do. I'll just buy another one, but who I'm very, very happy with it. The construction of it, uh, the size of it, I just I absolutely love it. Mm, I mean, just wonderful gifts, wonderful gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that's it for this week. I'll see you back here next week, guys. Bye.